We are now in um, part of the museum describing a particular type of culture in West Africa. There is um, artifacts and the pictures connected with them come from Togo and from Ghana. And um, I took a trip there some years back and uh, I was able to travel with a, a floating clinic on the river Volta going up towards the north of the country with some of our people and some of our medical volunteers. And um, because of the work they do, they're well accepted in the villages along the river, even though we wouldn't usually be because this is voodoo land. And the overwhelming majority of the people are believers in, in the voodoo religion, and which is very complex, and it embraces people from the moment of birth all the way to their death. And there is a great element of um, fear of um, evil spirits. And uh, you know what uh, we usually connect would do with the sticking pins and uh, dolls and stuff like that. And it is not all um, uh, a laughing matter because they actually believe in it. Because I was connected with that floating clinic, I was allowed, after some discussion, to take part in a voodoo ritual. Uh, I had to pay some money, two chicken, some bottles of schnapp, and uh, flour, I think it was. Then I had to take off my shirt and my shoes, and then I was allowed to take pictures and to tape. And uh, it was a rather... Uh, impressive experience because people tend to be, um, then I saw some of the voodoo, similar voodoo things in Brazil as well, where people tend to be possessed by the living dead or by the spirit, uh, by these um, genes that uh, move about. So at first uh, the, priest, uh, the, the priest had this big threatening um, cleavers or machete-like instruments that they swung around sort of freely and uh, people were definitely in a state of fear and awe. And the schnapp was passed around in little cups and we would sip some of it and then throw it on the ground to Mother Earth. And then they took my two chicken and chopped the head off and spilled the blood on the stone and then they lit a candle on top of it. And then, at one point, a woman went into a closet and came back with a bunch of human bones, long bones, and put them on the table. In the meantime, they were singing, they were chanting different things. It looked almost like our responsorial song where the priest would say something and everybody would answer something. And um, I heard my name mentioned two or three times, and I was hoping it would be a blessing. Evidently it was, because... Uh, Eventually, when this was over, and they all went back to normal, we even ate together on the day before leaving. And um, we were trying to help the young women who live in those temples that have been donated by families in expiation for sins that the family have committed. And so the government was making an effort to get these girls out of those temples and send them to school and give them health care and so forth, and we were part of that effort.